him all over the place. <laughs> How you doing? Welcome back. Now I'm going to show you a workout move. This is still on level one, which is essentially the first three moves of sticks. However, this, with this move, you get a lot more aerobic benefit from it because it allows you to flip over, catch, and get a lot of action or activity going. Let's start it out. Here we go. We got a first TikTok then. I'm going to spread my feet a little bit, squat down a little bit. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it over and pull it in a little bit and pull it back in a little bit and pull it in a little bit and pull it back in a little bit like that. Now, once you get it going, you just kind of rake it over the top like this and you get a tossing spin. So I'm going, to, going, I'm going slow a little bit with it right now, but if I speed it up, you'll see what the exercise starts to look like. And you would want to claim your bubble with this action as well. So I'll work my way around. And you'll notice sometimes I alter that move a little bit just for the sake of making some motion with the body turn it into a spin or something like that to make that move more possible. So it seems to work out automatically when you do it that way. Instead of being a toss-catch thing, you might want to get into a float. So if you're getting into a float, you can start it floating like this and stay with it and just let it roll around on a float. That would be a variation. So you could float it like this and the, the moves look a little differently because you're twisting with it, rolling with it, and seeing about it floating around. See how slow you can go? How thorough the movements can be. Up the feet. Let's get some more exercise benefits through these basic moves. Let me work out a little bit for you and let you see some of the possibilities. There's breathing techniques that we've developed as well, and I found out that by taking a deep breath and then pushing on the sticks, and when you push on the sticks for a move, then you let that breath out and blow out. Then when you reach for the sticks, you're going to take in air. So I call it the choo-choo breath, which means that like a choo-choo train, you start slow. And then as the choo-choo builds up speed, you increase the speed of your breathing. And I must tell you, 20 minutes of that kind of breathing will clear the cobwebs out of your head <laughs> like you've never seen. Sort of like a runner kicking in that second wind. You get that giddy feeling and you get excited and it's pretty healthy, I must say. Good for you. And if you extend that by stretching the body and treating the body in an exercising kind of fashion, you'll get the most out of it. Let me talk about stances a little bit. The three stances with sticks. First stance essentially feet shoulders width apart. That gives you good basic stability for movement. You can flex easily with it and movement and the stick action go hand in hand, go together. So when I'm tossing the stick, I'm shifting the weight in my knees at the same time. But let's go to the other stances. One stance is a little more difficult and it's a great exercise stance putting the heels together. When you put the heels together that forces you up on the toes and allows you to have a spring action in the body. And this spring action strengthens the body and all the long ligaments in the body. It's very good for that. Very good for the lower back. It's very good for the ligaments in the leg. All of those kinds of things. So when you're doing sticks, it looks like this. By getting up, putting pressure on the heels and resting on the balls of the feet, you create a spring of the body. And it's that spring action that gives you such a benefit. Claiming your bubble using that method is a nice challenge. Also, the wide stance, where you have your feet quite wide and you squat down, allows for lunging turns and moves like that. When you really get going, it looks kind of like a martial arts workout.
In practice, of course, you'll move around a lot, stretch out over your head, turn around, and really kick it into high gear. That particular move there almost mimics sword fighting a little bit. There's cross benefits from doing the stick activity into other kinds of sports and other kinds of activities because of the muscle development that occurs here. The flow, the follow through, those kinds of things. You'll find other sports games and other activities all, of all kinds of natures will improve as a result. Enjoy your sticks. I wanted to say a couple of words about using the stick activity to quiet your mind and to get some stress relief. One of the things that uh, psychology has found out uh, over the years is that whenever you open your eyes, everything that you see around you triggers the meaning of that thing in your mind. Even though you're not actively thinking about it, it sort of fixes it. So that when you look at it, you already know where the car is the car. And everything that that object, in this case I refer to a car, would mean to you comes up kind of under the surface. So to cut off those distractions, those constant stimulations, uh, I looked around and I realized that if you just didn't focus on those things, then they wouldn't be triggering all this mental activity under the surface. So what I arrived at was a little method that works really well for cutting off that stimulation and giving yourself a chance to quiet your mind. Okay. Take your basic stick move, this tick tock, and just turn it into this little spin. I've got one foot planted in one place. I'm going to put the foot like this and I'm going to step around myself in a circular kind of a move. And if I combine that along with the breathing exercise, then you get a true added benefit from it. So let me start this. I'm going to step around myself a little bit and start to move. There we go. There there, then there. What this does, again, it stops the constant triggering just under the surface of mental activity, giving definitions to everything that I see. So by starting that spin process, my eyes no longer can fix on anything except the sticks, which doesn't have much meaning, and it allows you to step outside of stress-related triggers that are happening just under the surface all the time. So let me get this going and you can kind of see it. Usually you can do this for 10 or 15 minutes and it'll break up any stress pattern that you've got pretty quick. Here we go. Sometimes variations on the move occur somewhat naturally. If you find yourself getting a little dizzy, maybe from the breathing or the spinning, slow down, continue. You'll adjust to it pretty quick. And the benefits, well, just do it once and you'll see the benefits. Let me have some more fun here for myself and I'll see you in a minute. Here we go.